Very cool. All right, so now we're on to Rocket Blaster's first question. Yeah. He says, can you have multiple websites all being hosted under one account? So I guess one hosting account, maybe? Example, if I had 20 domains under one account, would that be a problem in the eyes of Google? No, depending, well, I mean, it depends. It, it always depends, right? It depends on what it is that you're doing with them. So for example, if you had 20 domains all hosted on one, you know, IP address from one hosting account, and you were using them as like, a private blog network or a link network to boost the, you know, to build links to one of the sites within that same hosting account, then yeah, that's a huge footprint and that can cause a problem. But if you've got separate 20 sites that are like separate uh, entities all, on, you know, in and of themselves, then there's, there shouldn't be a problem with that. Like, it, honestly, it just depends on what you're doing with that. Um, if you're trying to use multiple domains to manipulate your, seo or your search positioning then yes that's a problem but if you have separate 20 separate websites that are really unrelated or it doesn't matter whether they're related or unrelated but you're not using them in a way to try to manipulate search positioning then that shouldn't be a problem at all um i don't know maybe i'm not interpreting the question correctly what do you say well you can have a vps and assign an ip to each one of those yeah 20 domains but you, I mean, you have to go through so much trouble for hiding the, the, the damn footprints. It's not how we do it. If those, like, like Bradley said, if there's separate domains for, for, for separate things, well, I have a, a, a well, several client VPSs and I have several clients on one VPS and that's never been a problem because I mean, that, that, that's what hosting is. Shared hosting is a bunch of domains on one server. The server just gets divided right it gets divisions and, and it gets files installed in the server so i don't i've never seen a problem with that the problem becomes when you start interlinking those and start trying to manipulate google, manipulate google and google catches the pvn because then that gets de-indexed and as a matter of fact it doesn't even like nowadays your 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 links just get devalued to the point where, where they become almost useless and it's, 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 it's the, the, the distance graph takes over and, and it just, uh, you know, you, you see diminishing return. So you have to go back and you have to keep working on those websites to keep them act, activity, relevance, trust, and authority. If any of those things are missing from those 20 domains where you're trying to manipulate, then you get diminishing return. That's how it works. And it's really simple the way that Google, Google set that up.